Some might call it the price of progress, an unfortunate consequence from the rush to build new neighborhoods, new businesses, and new highways. But is it worth that price? So many homeowners now dealing with major flood damage are saying no tonight. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum has been digging into the building boom and its possible connection to our flood disaster. Joel? Dominique, I'm sure you've noticed this. This 100 year flood stuff, they seem to be coming with a lot more regularity than that. And homes that aren't even in 100 year flood plains are now flooding. There seems to be just a fancy answer to what's going on here, at least according to one woman, and it's called impervious ground cover. In northwest Harris County, where natural wetlands have given way to sprawling subdivisions, what's getting wet now? Our living rooms. Uh -huh. Did you guys do studying in terms of floodplain and all that stuff? We did. They told us we weren't in the floodplain. Ever since the storm hit, what we've seen at an alarming rate is homes well outside of so called designated floodplains are flooding anyway. Jennifer Lorenz heads up the Bayou Land Conservancy, and from her perspective, it's pretty plain and simple. Oh, the water has to go somewhere, and it has to go somewhere fairly quickly. So, if you're not going to have trees and these depressional wetland areas to absorb it, it's going to go into homes. What we're left with is runoff. In the city, it can be even more problematic. Houston's impossibly dense development has left virtually no room for nature to soak up excessive water. And in that scenario, whether you've ever flooded before or not, your fate is largely determined by gravity, where the lowest point likely loses. Yeah, it came in, um, we, we sandbagged, but the water was just seeping in through the walls, and so there was no stopping it. The Bayou Land Conservancy, in fact, a lot of groups want to see stricter laws, rules, and regulations when it comes to development. In Houston, you can not only build in a flood plain, you can build in what's called a flood way. That's the direct route water takes to get to our bayou system. For now, we're live on the northwest side. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Well,